welcome to my channel. I'm Valerie. I'm an iOS software engineer. I have some free time off of work and I'm using this time to focus on learning web development. Continuously learning new skills is important for staying employable and in demand in the tech industry. So in this video, I'll be coding, learning web development, and also living a healthy lifestyle to support my brain power and performance as a software engineer. If you want more videos like this, hit the like button and subscribe and let's get productive together. I just got dressed and now I'm gonna head to the gym and get that out of the way so that I have the rest of the day to study. Working out is super important as a software engineer. There have been many studies on exercise and your brain. It's been shown to improve memory, learning, and decision-making skills. Regular exercise can help reduce symptoms of depression, anxiety, and improve your mood. And it can increase your self-esteem, making you more confident, and it reduces stress, which is something that you will face as a software engineer. It also increases your brain plasticity. So exercise has been shown to increase the production of a protein called BDNF, brain-derived neurotrophic factor, which plays a role in the growth and survival of your neurons. This can lead to increased brain plasticity or the brain's ability to adapt and change in response to new experiences. And exercise can give you better sleep, improve your sleep quality, which is important for your brain health. Exercise makes you more fit and attractive along with making you smarter. So why wouldn't you exercise? this out. I have my new microphone that I got for Christmas. Thank you, Heather, for always supporting my YouTube channel and my career and any of my aspirations. Love you. So this is a really nice mic and I don't know how to record. So it sounds really good in my ear right now, but I have to record the audio. Like the audio just doesn't go straight into the video. Okay, I'm just gonna Google what Mac app to use for condenser mic. Okay, here's a video on how to connect condenser mic. I mean, what software do I use? How do I get the recording? Like this is, like, this is just playing directly into my ear. Well, right now it's connected to my, I don't know what this thing is called. So right now, this microphone is connected to this thing that's sitting here on my desk. It is a bus powered USB audio interface. It does a lot of things according to audio experts. It not just makes your sound better, but it also allows you the audio to go into there and then go to your computer. So that's what we have going on. I also want to adjust this so that we can see the beautiful background. Pretending to record, pretending to record, and hopefully it's recording from here. And let's see what the quality is like. Pretending to record, pretending to record. It's pretty loud, so maybe I don't need to be this close to the microphone. Okay, how about I keep it like this? And then, but it's not gonna, I kind of want it to be on camera. I don't know. But I'll just leave it at this. You'll bear with me. And I'm gonna take these off and then I'm gonna start recording. Now we're gonna get into the real video. everyone it's the next day and today is fat burning day so I'm gonna go do cardio and then I'll get into things that are really important today which is 
making more progress on my web development course and just learning more and getting more information in so that I can finish on time. So I just took a shower and I want to do a face mask. This is the Precious Gold Vitality Mask by Clay de Poe. It's a sample. The actual thing's like $300. I got this sample from buying gifts for uh, people at Neiman Marcus and then they just gave me some samples and so we're going to try this out. Okay, that's a lot. Okay, I'm just gonna use the packaging to like apply this. Okay, that doesn't work, but it smells really good. Oh no, I got it in my hair. Okay, so now I wait five minutes, but online it said five to 20 minutes. So since this is like a super expensive product, I'm just gonna leave it on for 20 minutes. It's been almost 20 minutes and I wanna wash this off and see how I feel. So I just washed it off and my skin looks really good. I like it. Now I'm just gonna get ready for the rest of the day. So I got ready and now I want to continue studying. I have a week off of work this week, so I wanted to progress on my web development course. So that's what I'm doing here. By the way, everyone's raving about ChatGPT and also worrying about if it's gonna take away developer jobs. But after playing around with it, asking it to help me code and do some architecture and things like that, it does a really good job, but some of the solutions it gives, like the coding solutions, doesn't work. So ChatGPT does a lot of the heavy lifting, but you still have to understand code to be able to fix some of its errors. So that's why I'm learning web development, because even if ChatGPT can build an entire website for me, it might have syntax errors it might not be able to customize things to my exact liking. So that's why it's important to understand code to be able to fix and debug and add code to your code base. Besides using ChatGPT to generate code, I've asked it other questions as well, and it's really helpful, but it may not always be correct. But the AI is definitely improving, so we'll just have to see what happens in the future. I just wanted to point out, this is pretty cool. So we set the margin to be 50 pixels on top. And then this is either like left or right. And then this is bottom. So the zero is talking about the bottom margin. So I think that's cool about web. In Swift, we do something different, but it's still pretty easy. But this is something new to me that you can set it, set all the, margins in line. So I think I'm gonna make some Thai iced tea because I want a little bit of caffeine but I don't want to drink coffee. So let's make it together.
Let's try it. Mmm. So you can actually put any sweet creamer you want. I put stevia because I don't want too much creamer, but I want the sweetness. So I only added two tablespoons of Coffee Mate hazelnut creamer, but vanilla would be really good. I used hazelnut because that's what I had on hand. And yesterday I actually ordered some Thai iced tea with my Thai food and it was like $5 for like a small cup. So I don't think it's worth it. I think it's way better to just make it at home. just gonna do a little bit of video putting on my iPad to get out all of my creativity through writing and drawing things out and then I will go into studying. Is ready. I have my tea and my hydro flask that's matching my sweater and we're just gonna keep studying. We'll see how far I get. be honest here like we all get stuck even when we're learning to code even if you're a professional software engineer we all get stuck but that's part of how you learn when you get stuck that's especially where you remember the most and then the next time you come across this issue you sort of just know right away what to do so I feel like challenges help make the content stick as well so I'm trying to figure out why my hamburger menu button isn't showing up and none of the other buttons are showing up after I made this change. Okay, so this is my code and then this is the instructor's code. We're trying to create this button and when you click it, like let's say you're on a mobile phone and you don't have much space, we want to click it so that it expands different buttons. So I'll show you. So once we expand to let's say like a desktop version, we can see the contact button, the pricing button, download button, and of course the company logo button. And then if you click on like the mobile app for like a smaller screen size or like just a smaller screen size, it should turn into like a hamburger menu. And uh, yeah, that's what I'm trying to debug in my code. So I'm gonna look carefully at the instructor's code and my code to see what to do like what she's doing and what I'm doing wrong because even sometimes you might have syntax errors that just break everything. So that's like the first step for me. And then if everything's the same, then I have to figure out what else is wrong. So right now, a 
instructor is saying to use Bootstrap 4 to write out this implementation, but I know there's Bootstrap 5, so I wanna be on the latest version of a framework. So Bootstrap 5, I think is the latest, so I wanna use that, but the code does not work the same way as the instructor's code. So here you see that the code is, it's creating three different columns in one row. And her code looks like this for Bootstrap 4, but my code, I had to look up the documentation for Bootstrap 5, and it's a little different. For the row, I had to say row, align item, start, and then it would stay in the same row. So here you see that the columns are in the same row. I don't know why it's giving me this white space there, but it's pretty close. I'll figure that out later. If I were to try her code, uh, my columns would look completely different. So I will show you. I'm just reverting all of my changes. So here is um, the instructor's code, but we're running it in Bootstrap 5, so it'll look different. So it looks like this. It's three rows and one column instead. So you have to be on the lookout for different versions of frameworks and how they differ and you have to be careful with that. So I had to look up some documentation on Bootstrap 5, how to do the same thing that the instructor is doing in Bootstrap 4, but for Bootstrap 5. So I think that's a skill that you develop as a programmer. So be on the lookout for that. Okay, so I'm gonna study for another hour and then go to the gym. Right now it's like 5.44 p.m. So yeah. Now, I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more. See you in the next one. Bye.